planet has entered an era of extreme climate change. Rising temperatures, drought, polar ice caps melting, and an increase in wildfires all over the world are examples of this change. Even in countries like Sweden that have previously been spared, the threat of global warming is expanding, impacting more regions and causing greater environmental damage, as witnessed in the summer of 2018. In Europe, countries are encountering larger fires that are becoming more difficult to control and encroaching on local communities. In 2017, Europe's wildfires burned 1.2 million hectares, compared with an average of 380,000 hectares annually over the past decade. What is new in the past decade is the development of megafires that are larger than 100 hectares and even in excess of 1,000 hectares. The challenge presented by these very large fires is that they necessarily require significant means to control them. North America also experienced a devastating summer in 2018, with wildfires spreading into new territories and average affected areas per fire doubling in size in Canada and USA since 1992. Also, the wildfire season has been extended by two months or more compared to the 1980s. But the loss of forested areas due to fires is not the only consequence of climate changes. It also generates ecological and humanitarian catastrophes. Additionally, through climate change, storms and hurricanes are multiplying, and the volume of climate victims is inexorably increasing. In the fight against these varied global threats, the Canadair Aerial Firefighter is the most capable aircraft to meet these challenges. The Canadair is the reference with respect to aerial firefighting and is the only aircraft specifically designed for that purpose. From the first CL215 in 1969 to the most recent CL415, the Canadair is the cornerstone of aerial firefighting in many countries around the world. 162 Canadair are in operation around the world, with the greatest fleet concentrations in North America and Europe. The Canadair CL415 has been the benchmark for aerial firefighting for 50 years because it can respond quickly and effectively in the initial attack and in all types of terrain. The main characteristic of the Canadair is its amphibious design, with a fuselage capable of landing directly on water. Another design strength is its robust, single-piece, high-lift wing with large flight control surfaces, providing exceptional maneuverability. The aircraft is equipped with two 2400 horsepower turboprop engines, each contributing to the aircraft's maximum speed of 350 km per hour and a high power-to-weight ratio. One of the main contributing factors to the success of the Canadair is its ability to scoop water from sources close to fires. It only requires a water source of 1.4 km in length. Within 12 seconds by skimming on the water surface, the holding tanks can be reloaded with more than 6,000 liters of water. With the ability to reload from many fresh and salt water sources, the Canadair can remain closer to the fire during a mission, only taking an average of 10 minutes between passes. The only way to fight in a proper way is to arrive early on the fire. If the fire is very big, it's uh, unusual to have a plane that has to go back to the airport. This is a distinct advantage to the Canadair's approach to aerial firefighting, as the others are constrained by having to refill at an airport or aerodrome with a paved runway. This means that a tanker-type aircraft can only return to the fire every 60 minutes, the average time to transit and refill at an airport. And in the case of a super tanker, it takes an average of 90 minutes to return to the fire. 
The ability to refill from multiple sources close to the fire and its four-hour continuous flight endurance enables the Canadair to multiply the number of drop passes on the fire over other assets. This can translate to as many as 5 to 10 drops per hour or up to 115 drops per day, depending on the fire's location. This frequency of drop passes makes it possible to quickly adjust to the wind conditions and progression of the fire. When compared to other methods of aerial firefighting, the Canadair excels. Largely due to its smaller capacity and limited autonomy, a helicopter performs up to 49 drops per day. A tanker, up to 15 drops per day. And a super tanker, only up to 8 drops per day. When comparing the volume of water dropped in a day, the Canadair can exceed 500,000 liters, far more than any other aircraft. So, with a greater drop frequency and the highest productivity than any other firefighting aircraft, the Canadair achieves the lowest cost per liter of water dropped. The Canadair has the ability to fly at low speed and at low altitude. Its superior maneuverability makes it perfect to operate in the steepest terrain. It's unbelievably maneuverable. It can enter in every little space. It goes down very, very deep, very, very like in vertical, not in vertical, but similar. This allows the Canadair to approach the fire at 210 kilometers per hour at a height of 30 meters over the fire, making it the most precise of all aerial firefighting aircraft. Due to their wing design, tailored to commercial aviation, and in order to maintain safety, other aircraft can only drop at higher altitude and at higher speed. Turbofan or jet tankers must drop at an altitude no lower than 75 meters, and a super tanker must drop at a minimum altitude of 125 meters. At these speeds and altitude, precision and effectiveness are lost. Finally, when required, the Canadair can battle fires in fleet formation of two, four, or six aircraft, providing up to 6,000 liters of water dropped in sequence as frequent as every 15 seconds. This is very effective given the current evolution of wildfires, fires that due to their magnitude and locations require improved, sustained methods of combat. The time has come to make decisions as the resources available to combat the growing threats are currently insufficient and getting older. This is why the time is right to launch the next generation Canadair. The new 515 is designed to modernize our product and improve its effectiveness by anticipating wildfire multi-mission needs over the next 25 years. The creation of the Viking Canadair 515 builds on the proven design of the CL415. The main evolution with the 515 is the introduction of a new, fully integrated digital avionics suite with multifunction displays. The new glass cockpit featuring synthetic vision will provide a three-dimensional map for the crew to have an augmented reality view of the surrounding terrain. An optional heads-up display system allows the pilot to simultaneously monitor the environment and flight information within his field of vision. Another major development is the introduction of a night vision system. With the use of night vision goggle technology incorporated into the pilot's helmet, the aircraft can operate at night as a tanker. With the Canadair 515, firefighting capabilities are increased through the incorporation of a higher volume water tanks. The upper part of the tanks are enlarged, creating an overall volume of 7,000 liters. 
a 15% increase. With new materials and anti-corrosion treatments, maintenance cost will be reduced by 15%. Alongside improvements in the aircraft design, Viking is also working to improve training and crew safety through the development and installation of a full motion Level D flight simulator. This flight simulator is directly derived from the unique technology developed for the Viking Twin Otter Series 400 flight simulator, the first of its kind in the world with actual seaplane capabilities. This technology is being adapted to the new Canadair 515 to simulate the conditions of navigation and operation on water as well as in the air. This will provide a valuable tool to operators for faster, safer and more economical pilot training. With the improvement and modernization of all its systems, the Canadair 515 also brings another dimension to its primary purpose as an aerial firefighter. It is very important to operate the aircraft out of fire season. Today's budgets are very restrictive through governments around the world. We see the opportunity to use this aircraft in many different roles because it's such a versatile platform. So these things are all multi-roles that can be used outside of the fire season itself. With these design improvements, the aerial firefighter becomes an ultra-versatile aircraft capable of carrying out missions for surveillance and intervention, both maritime and overland. A search radar is installed on one side of the aircraft that can detect marine traffic, for example, an illegal fishing boat. And on the other side of the aircraft, a video system is installed that is capable of analyzing images of a shipwreck and help determine if there are people needing rescue. Direction finding and AIS receivers will allow surface vessel identification and distress signal tracking. A Wi-Fi link transmits the signal in real time to a command post located in the cabin of the aircraft. And these sensors can be removed in less than 60 minutes, allowing the aircraft to quickly transition to firefighting missions. In an emergency situation, the Canadair 515 can land on the water and conduct rescue operations by enlarging the optional cargo doors and deploying a lifeboat and scuba divers. The aircraft also benefits from a system allowing the conversion of the interior into an emergency cargo carrier in order to carry out an evacuation. This includes the addition of benches for up to 12 passengers. For humanitarian aid and medevac operations, emergency equipment such as two removable modules of three stretchers is available. The Canadair 515 can also support environmental disaster missions on the water or on the ground. A system of spray booms can drop dispersants on oil slicks or spray insecticides in the case of an insect invasion. With the development of all these systems and the ability to operate from unprepared runways, the Canadair 515 provides additional capabilities to its initial purpose as an aerial firefighter, further enhancing its economic value and becoming a truly multi-mission aircraft. Viking has been a world-class aerospace company and Canadian aviation leader since 1970. The company has two main production facilities in Calgary, Alberta and Victoria, British Columbia. The company holds eight aircraft type certificates and is responsible for the product support of over 1,600 aircraft around the world. But we are specializing in utility aircraft. We started off in the MRO, our repair, maintenance and overhaul of originally flying boats. That was our original business. We migrated into building parts for large OEMs like Bombardier, Bell Helicopters and Boeing aircraft. In 2007, Viking relaunched production of this legendary twin otter aircraft after a 22-year hiatus and has since delivered over 140 aircraft to 30 countries.
company has already launched the CL-415 EAF Enhanced Aerial Firefighter, a conversion program for former Canadair CL-215 that will benefit from new turbine engines and the incorporation of modernized technology in the aircraft systems. Building on the prestigious history of Canadair, the Viking Canadair 515 symbolizes a new model of aerial firefighter that is capable of operating in diverse roles without losing the attributes that made it a legend. The most productive aerial firefighting aircraft. <laughs>